Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today I am back on the couch, it's already close to 9pm, so I'm actually, yeah, I'm honest with you, I nearly forgot about today's video. But if you're just here to see my reaction to Israel, well, you can skip forward, just check out the timestamp. But actually I'm not going to talk too much about today, as today not so much has happened. I can give you one information about this whole machine thing that I was talking in yesterday's video. The guys fixed it, kinda. So they kind of soldered the pins back on that connector that was broken so that they could test the cards that were missing. And now we are waiting. So I made the order now for the new connectors. But it said like three, four weeks until it's coming. So we're gonna wait a long time for that. But now we don't need it, as at least right now. So that was lucky. And after all that fixing, it was finally time for me to go back to my own project. So I was doing some programming. And to just summarize it, I am really enjoying like this playing around with LabVIEW. Because the program itself, like what my, what is needed to program the cards that is already done now the hard part however is to in implement all the programming things that i have in this whole shell that has been created by my company by the colleagues so that it has a nice interface that is all working in sequences that is the thing that just is difficult for me because i know what i have created but I really don't know like what do they like what really is needed from their things how much can I delete how, what should I keep things like that so I have definitely yeah I've going to spend a few more days probably on just putting everything together but I'm looking forward to tomorrow I just felt today in the evening like oh, I really really am most productive in the mornings okay but now with all that said it is time for yeah some talk about Israel. Hey guys, I'm LJ and today we will be listening to the most controversial song of this year, which is the song from Israel. It is performed by Eden Gulan and is called Hurricane. Because this song is so controversial, I wanna yeah say at least some things in the beginning of the song. Then we will listen to it and after that I will give you my opinion on the song and also my point ranking but for right now I just want to give some words on this whole situation with Israel and the Eurovision Song Contest. Okay so in the beginning of this whole Eurovision build up this year so I'm speaking of like early January or maybe even December when this whole discussion started with should Israel be allowed to participate or not I was really thinking like why shouldn't they? Because I was not really focused on the whole politics or anything. I was just thinking, this is a song contest. We are listening to music. This should be neutral. But after I have realized that even though it is supposed to be neutral, without any politics, there is always politics going on. And then, of course, this whole political situation escalated and continued and there was no peace inside where I also thought about, okay, maybe it is better to ban Israel from performing this year. And now my final opinion that I have on this whole situation, in my opinion, it would be the best to ban Israel from the Eurovision Song Contest this year. But the main reason for that is... Not because they have some kind of political message or whatever. Because of course I can understand that this is provocative and also probably making a lot of people angry. Which I totally understand. And I have read all that things with the old song called October Rain I think it was called. But in my opinion the biggest reason why we should definitely exclude Israel this year is for the safety of the people attending Malmö, attending the shows having fun there because when Eden Golan is on the grand stage or even only on the semi-finals I'm 100% sure that something is going to happen may it be just some protesters running on the stage 
interrupting her, um, her her performance just for the security of everyone attending the Eurovision Song Contest being in Malmö. I think it would be the best to just exclude them. And I have now read already because I'm really doing this reaction kind of late. I have read that the Eurovision Village has also banned all the songs from Israel to be played during the week of the Eurovision Song Contest, which is totally understandable. So in my case, I wish they would do that, but I just hope no one is getting injured during that week due to this whole conflict. That is what I really hope. We don't want to talk about Israel on the Eurovision Song Contest. We want to talk about music, about the crazy performances like Finland or Estonia. We want to talk about the really good performances also being crazy like Croatia or just ballads like France. That is what Eurovision is about and not talking about politics. But now I have already said enough here. Let's listen to the song. I try to be as objective as possible. Of course, this is my reaction, my opinion. And I also know that this whole situation will definitely give me a bitter taste when I will be listening to that right now. But now let's start. Ladder of my symphony, play with me. Look into my eyes and see. Hours and hours and powers. Life is no game, but it's hours while every day I'm losing my mind. Holding the voice of her is really good. That's what I can already say. Okay, now it is getting more in the pop genre, which is not what I really like so much. Well, right now I think the song is in certain parts nice, but right now it is like the chorus is more average in my opinion. Okay, that voice is good. Like, that part is now really good. That was Eden Golan Hurricane. It is really, really hard for me to put any words in this song. I don't really know how I cut the reaction. Because, I don't know, I felt that usually if there would have not been this political conflict going on, this song would probably have made me cry. Because certain parts of the song are just very touching. But I, I could not let it pass. So which is, it is really a weird reaction for me. And about the song, well... I like Eden Gulan's voice, definitely great voice. And I also like the ballad character that it sometimes had. But every time the song got more popular, like with the bass and the rhythm, that was not something that I enjoyed listening to right now. <sighs> How much do I give this song? What, what, seems, what, what, do you, what would you guys give this song? I think I will give this song six points. Because it is good in some parts, but average in most of them. That is my opinion on the song from Israel. Now I ask you guys to try to be as much focused on the song to tell me what you guys think. Feel free to write down your opinion on the whole Eurovision situation with Israel, but give reasons that are focused on the Eurovision Song Contest and not about the political situation. That was my reaction for today. Tomorrow we are going back to a more classy reaction, which I'm really looking forward to, because tomorrow we will be listening to the song from Italy. But now, I hope you had a wonderful day. We will see each other 
tomorrow. Bye-bye.